Hello, I am Dr. Raffaele Ricciardi and I am happy to welcome you to Abeno Term, to our School of Hysteroscopy. Having performed over 50,000 hysteroscopies, I felt that the existing instruments needed to be improved in the interest of greater speed and safety. This led to the birth of the EOS, a universal hysteroscopy system, making it possible to combine the use of 3 mm laparoscopic instruments with monopolar electrosurgical and bipolar electrosurgical instruments, as well as to perform conventional resection procedures. The dimensions of the instruments, consequently, allow for the treatment of a broad range of pathologies, such as polyps, myomas and septa, or adesiolysis procedures. Making the correct choice from among these energy modes, based on the pathology of the patient, can lead to a reduction in operating time and thus the risk of intravisation. The EOS operative endoscopy system is based on an autoclavable hysteroscope with a 25 French offset viewing angle. It has an optical system which uses rod lenses and multi-layer processing capabilities to provide exceptional visual quality. Its reliability is enhanced by distal and proximal sapphire mirrors and laser welded joints. We offer the ultimate in technology for optimizing surgical procedures. Equipped with a working length of 22 centimeters, the multi-purpose EOS hysteroscope has a zero degree angle of view, enabling a full overview of the uterine cavity. Its operating channel, 13 French in diameter, is actually positioned and accommodates inflexible 3 mm endoscopic instruments. It is equipped with a valve and a removable seal for ensuring that the operating channel remains leak-proof even when this channel is being used with an instrument. In this way, the uterine cavity can be maintained in a distended position. A lure fitting is used for connecting the device to an irrigation system. The 27 French outer sleeve comes with its own obturator. However, a conventional dilation system is required in order to insert it into the cervix. The lower sleeve fitting can be used to connect to a suction system, thus affording the option of creating a continuous airflow in order to distend the uterine cavity during the procedure. Once the outer sleeve is positioned in the cervix, the obturator is removed by simply pressing on the quick lock connecting mechanism. The EOS hysteroscope can be easily attached to the outer sleeve by means of this ingenious connecting device. The quick lock system can be used, especially at the end of a procedure, for easily removing bits of myomas and polyps even more quickly than through the operating channel. However, disconnecting it in the middle of a procedure will inevitably lead to leakage and the collapse of the uterine cavity. The EOS kit contains a range of 3mm laroscopic instruments designed to provide the practitioner with options as regards the techniques that can be used. Three types of monopolar electrodes, button, hook or loop, enable the device to be used in electrosurgical operations.
The EOS kit can also be operated in saline solution using bipolar electrodes, straight needles, V-hooks or L-hooks. The monopolar and bipolar electrodes have a working length of 36 cm to enable surgical procedures to be performed on women with deep uteruses. The instruments supplied in the kit enable work to be performed either in monopolar electrosurgery or using only the mechanical energy, particularly for myoma enucleation. The forceps and surgical scissors are composed of an insert and a hand grip made detachable to ensure impeccable hygiene. When assembling the instruments, the hand grip must be held open and the ball of the insert introduced into the slot designed for this purpose. The hand grip must then be closed and the insert ring screwed on. Proper functioning of the instrument must be verified by activating the hand grip. The kit includes curved Metzenbohm surgical scissors with double action jaws, a pair of micro scissors with movable gripping jaws for precision actions, Kelly grip forceps, universal grip forceps, tooth forceps for extracting tissue fragments. All of these instruments have 360 degrees rotation thanks to the rotation ring on the hand grip. The instruments and the electrodes are electrically insulated and can be connected to the electrosurgery unit. A monopolar cable and a bipolar cable with 4mm single pin plugs are supplied. Other cables for specific electrosurgical units can be ordered separately. All of these instruments come packaged in a sterilisation container suited for standard practices and for autoclave sterilisation at 134 degrees centigrade. The universality of the EOS kit allows the practitioner to work with a monopolar resectoscope, if necessary, without having to change the outer sleeve, thanks to the EOS advanced accessory. Thanks to the quick lock system, the surgeon is able to easily remove the EOS universal hysteroscope and insert a 24 French inner sleeve, a 44 mm hysteroscope and a 12 degrees direction of view, a passive working element equipped with its own monopolar cable, and various reusable resection loops. The EOS is therefore a comprehensive kit by virtue of having all the materials required for the surgical technique contained in a single box. A tube is supplied for sterilizing the resection loops in order to guarantee protection during autoclave sterilization. The case that we are going to observe relates to a 52-year-old menopausal patient who in the past months has been suffering from repeated vaginal blood loss. The hysteroscopic diagnosis shows an anterior polypoid endometrial growth above the uterine isthmus of around 1.5 cm. The operation will be carried out through the operating channel of the EOS with the instruments that we will see.
We can observe the polypoidal neal formation and we see how it is initially attacked by the monopolar electrode with which the polyp space is gradually sectioned so that it can remain completely intact. Con il quale si va praticamente a sezionare gradualmente la base di impianto del polipo it does not have to be fragmented in several segments, since due to its dimensions, it can be extracted entirely through the operating channel with the sheath of the instrument. We observe the progressive sectioning of the base which is carried out carefully. And we will see that in a few moments, the base will be sectioned almost completely until only a small area of anchorage of the polyp is left in the uterine wall. Fino a lasciare solo una piccola zona di ancoramento del polipo alla parete. In this case, there will also be the advantage of having a complete histological diagnosis on the polyp in its entirety without having to reduce it into small fragments. Senza che esso stesso debba essere ridotto in piccoli frammenti. We observe that the polyp has been almost completely detached. We observe a small residual fibrous area in the insertion area. 